All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Species Artificial Life Real Evolution. And today, my mind is set in accomplishing the impossible. That's right, I want you guys to be in disbelief by the end of this video. So today, we're gonna try to create three. Not one, not two, but three. <laughs> uh, scientifically impossible creatures, that's right. And that's why today, we're gonna break the laws of nature. We are starting with 250 creatures, which just... This just freaking exploded. <laughs> 700 creatures are you kidding me look at these guys all right so we're gonna create a rover here and it's gonna feed the population when the total creature count is lower than 500 so we don't want these guys to die all right we're gonna create three different sets of creatures so we're gonna have to split this community <laughs> i'm so proud of this community hold on let me just drive this little guy here oh look at this I can totally just drive this. Oh my God, that's a little bit too fast. Hold on, hold on. Let's reduce the speed here a little bit. Let's check out the size of these creatures. My God, these beans are actually bigger than I thought they would be. Look at the size of these things. Holy crap, it's, it's attacking me. It's checking out my wheels. Yeah, check out my rims, dude. 12 inch rims, all right? I've got 12 inch rims on my robot here. What's going on there? I think maybe what we can do is split the population in three different sections. So I think we have one group right here. We definitely have another group over here. This is the biggest like group of creatures. And then we have another one on this section. Yeah, there's a ton of creatures right here. We have some on the northern side of the of the map and we have some over here. So let's engineer some of them. I think you might be the perfect specimen right there. Let's do some genetic engineering. That's what we're here for. First of all, we're gonna change the size. I saw something that caught my eye there. I like this one. So that's like a snake, like a reptile of some sort. All right, so we're gonna change this temperature. This is gonna be, these guys gonna be ectothermic. Let's go all the way down. They're gonna need some sun, boys. So hold on, what if we go with tail here? Oh, hold on. This might actually work. We might actually be able to create a weird cobra. Oh my God. We just need a good tail here. What, no, that's the head size. I don't want that. Stop it. If you guys ever wanted to know what a real mermaid looks like, this is it right here. <laughs> Not as sexy as you thought, right? All right, check this out. Come on, this is a cobra, all right? This is believable. This could exist. So we're not gonna go with this one because we're trying to break the laws of physics. So let's add some limbs here. It's funny because with these arms, this creature looks like it's about to send you to your room without dinner. You better not be playing more of those video games, kid. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, it's a little bit faster now, I guess. <laughs> this is making me kind of uncomfortable, you know? It's it's a little bit too much for me. Oh my god. Yikes. That's a large yikes, my dude. Hold on. I kind of want to have the torso, the original torso rotation that we had. <gasps> I think this is it. Hold on. This totally looks like a freaking snake's head. What? That might actually be it. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> what kind of head is that? I do like this, but I don't know. I feel like it looks cooler without the the legs. I don't know, man. Look at the eyes. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is an actual snake's head, but I think it's the best that I'm going to get. So let's do this, boys. And I might, I might add another feature here. All right. I think we're seeing the very beginnings of the weird snack and look at the tail <laughs> he looks so happy he looks so happy to see us look at this <laughs> <laughs> i never thought i would say this but this weird snake looks happy to see me look at the tail <laughs> oh my god we're gonna have to keep the oh did you just get super fat all right so while these guys over here evolve to become snacks we're gonna go to this side of the map and create another impossible creature all right i kind of like this color pattern right here hmm <laughs> a 
super flat creature. This creature is so flat, it's gonna get hired for some sort of like anime series, right? This is gonna be the inspiration for the next waifu. Flat is life, according to many people. I mean, dudes, come on. This is... This is scientifically impossible, all right? A creature this flat, look at this. Dude, this is definitely breaking the laws of physics. Come on. Come on. This is breaking the laws of physics. It's impossibly flat. <laughs> it's so flat, the police is about to break in. FBI, open up! This creature is way too flat. <laughs> Witness my great creation. I'm not sure what I'm looking at here. It feels like I'm being sucked into the void. Is this not scientifically impossible? You tell me. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life? All right. Well, flat is creature. Let's generate it. Flatus imperatus. That's gonna be the name. And hopefully they will evolve and become a scientifically impossible, impossible creature. And now we have the biggest one of all. The biggest, uh... What if we created a creature made out of pure light? Is that even possible? Absolute perfect luminescence, perfectly reflective, reflects 100% of the photons that hit it. Now with our previous creation, we tried to go flat, you know, we tried to appease the flat earthers. Now we're gonna do something different. Let's go with thickness, boys. The thickness cannot be forgotten. All right, please explain to me how this is scientifically possible. An absolute unit at the top, skipped leg day at the bottom. How is this possible? Explain this to me. I kind of like this head. I'm not sure which one looks derpier. Like, this one's really stupid, and I'm not sure if I should go with a super tiny head. I think this one actually looks funnier. <laughs> it's like, or super, super large. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes too big is just not good. What am I saying? <laughs> what are we talking about again? Evolution. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's that's great. Don't look into its eyes for too long Or you will be aroused to such a degree That you just won't be able to function properly. <laughs> what the heck am I saying? All right. Well, this is scientifically impossible. Let's generate this All right. I never thought the flattest creature around would actually sleep on its side <laughs> No, don't die. You're too flat to die. Look at this size <laughs> Look at its size <laughs> just doesn't know what's happening here when you're the flattest creature around It's like what the heck just happened when your existence is impossible yet. You're here. Oh my god Existential dread is what I see in his eyes relax. You're gonna survive anyway Let's create another rover here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna feed creatures with low genetic distance to the target and we're gonna select the target here which is gonna be the super flat creatures Flatus Imperatus, right there, import, and uh, let's drive it, let's drive it right there. Where in the map am I? Holy crap. Oh yeah, these are definitely the snakes right here. I can see them all the way over here. They're burning up. <laughs> They're actually ectothermic, so it actually makes sense that they are burning up. They're gonna need some water. And over here, we should find, over on this side, the Flatus Imperatus, the flattest creature around. Let's go this way. There's gotta be one right here. I think this is the one that we've been watching this whole time. Should be over here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I see you. It's kind of big, actually. You're kind of big, dude. You're kind of a big dude. Although I feel like these guys are kind of like having a little bit of a tough time reproducing. Might be the super flatness. Look at this. Oh my God. What just happened there? What is happening here? <laughs> Holy crap. All right, well, I actually approve of this. I approve of everything that is happening here. 
All of this. I approve of it. I actually want to move some of these guys there. Oh my god, there's so many flatties. And splice them with the gene right there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I approve of everything that's happening here. Oh, that's actually a monkey head. What? I didn't realize that. <laughs> it's an ape's head. Oh boy, this is worse than I thought. This is actually worse than I thought. All right, some of them are definitely getting thicker here. Oh, it just disappeared. What? Where are you? Where? What? Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. This game has some weird glitches most of the time <laughs> where creatures just randomly disappear. It, it makes no sense. Hold on. Let me splice these guys with the thickness, the absolute unit here. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is just great. <laughs> I love this, dude. They're dancing. It looks like they're flying, but they're not. All right, you definitely don't want to see this around. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at this guy. It just got gigantic. It just developed legs. It got legs. It was trying to move towards the thick boys. The flat, the flat creature was trying to go to the thick boys. What? Flatties and thick boys? No. No, 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 no. I forbid it. <laughs> I forbid it. All right. The thick boys have evolved. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, dude. Some of them do have thick legs. Some of them actually didn't skip leg day. <laughs> this is great. They look like beautiful clouds. The actual snakes, oh, I feel like a lot of them died. Oh no, they're moving towards the, the water. It seems like they evolved in weird ways because of the, the ectothermic nature of their bodies, you know? I want all my creatures, I want all my sons to survive. Oh my god, what the heck is this? What is this? You are freak of nature for sure <laughs> you are surely a freak of nature oh that's an absolute that is the perfect ball i think i found it some of these are perfect <laughs> in their own way i guess oh my god <laughs> they are everywhere we have yellow we have red we have green come on dudes this is freaking perfect I love it. This is my best creation so far. Look at the flatness. It's impossible that a creature this flat could exist. Look at these. Yikes. Those are those are big yikes right there. Oh, look at these. Oh. You know, you could say I broke the laws of physics in this game, and you could actually say that they're flying. You know, that's actually something that you could say that they're flying. You could actually say I did it. <laughs> I did it. I accomplished the impossible <laughs> in this game. Holy crap. That is that is great. I love it, dude. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.